Hi everybody, this is Chris, and today I'm going to teach you how to use a web tool called ThingLink. ThingLink allows you to embed video and other hot links into a still photo. You can use it on the web, any um, current version of a web browser, and you can also use it on Android and Apple mobile devices. The ThingLink blog has an excellent example of how to use ThingLink in conjunction with Google Docs. So this is how the students would start. Down here at the bottom left, it's the essential questions. And you can see there's an embedded Google document right here that lists the essential questions for the lesson. Moving to the right, there is another link with a video that shows kids an explanation of the lesson. The next task they're going to do is explore this page. So let me show you how that works. If I hover my mouse over any of these little tags, like here, this tells me that it's the cocoa bean. And then if I click on this or hover over this YouTube icon, there's a, a video embedded into the project. This is uh, the Oroma cacao. It's a native species of the rainforest. Uh, Another thing I like is the embedded sound file. So if I hover, I can see that it's called a squirrel monkey and I can play the sound file right in the document. So the next thing I want to show you is the exit ticket for the class. So if I click on this exit ticket, it takes me to a Google form that the teacher has produced. When you're done, you would click submit and that um, form, the answers in the form would be submitted right to the teacher's Google Drive. So now that you know how ThingLink might be used in, in your classroom, I'm going to show you how to find the website, how to create an account, and create a ThingLink of your own. So if you go to thinglink.com slash edu, you can sign up for a free account by clicking on I'm a teacher. There are two options here. One is the basic account, which is free. The other one is a premium account, which is $35 a year. You can do um, a really good job with the free account, so we're going to start there. What you will do is fill out all this information, decide if you want them to send you a weekly update, and then sign up for free. Now, since I already have signed up, I'm just going to go ahead and log in with my Google account. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a new thing link. So we're going to do that by clicking on this red Create button. There are different ways that you can um, pull an image into ThingLink. You can upload from your hard drive, import from Facebook, Flickr, or use a web URL. This is a good time to remind your students about using content that is licensed for reuse and doing a search using Creative Commons. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, upload it by clicking Here it is. I'm going to upload it. And here you need to just be patient for a second. When your picture is done uploading, it's going to pop up a new screen. And there it is. There is uh, the interactive image that I'm going to create. So the first thing I'm going to do is title it um, Learn Your Camera Dial. Okay. Now I'm going to click to add a tag. And what a tag is, a little icon that denotes that there is an embedded link or image. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do is aperture. So I'm going to show you a, different, a couple different ways you can search um, to put a link in. I'm going to click up here on the search for content and I'm going to type in aperture. And it's going to do a search for me. And so I am going to pick this video. I know that video is good. And I'm going to say um, Aperture Tutorial. And you can see what I typed in here comes in here underneath the video so that people know what it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and save my tag. Then I'm going to drag it and drop it over to the Aperture function on the camera dial. I'm going to go ahead and save that tag again. So now the icon for Aperture the aperture tutorial is right next to the aperture um, setting on the dial. So now I'm going to show you how to add 
tag when you have the URL link instead of doing a search inside thing link. So I've already found a video on YouTube that I like, so I'm going to copy the address and then I'm just going to paste the address right here. And then you can see it pops up here, populates the video, and then um, I'm going to type in what the video is and I'm going to go ahead and save that tag. Then I'm going to move it over to the shutter speed icon. Those two tags look exactly the same, so if I click on this icon here, I can scroll through here and I, you can see different icons that are available, so I can change that. Save the tag. I can go back and change this one too if I want to. Um, since it's a, so, more of a black and white image, I think I'll um, change these to color. Okay, so now you can see how you do that. Really, um, it's unlimited how many tags you can put in there and what you can link. So now that I'm done, I'm going to click on Save. Now, there's a couple different things I can do to share this, okay? Um, number one, down here, it's really, really small, but I can click Add to Channel. And I have created a, a channel for my class here. Those are my thing links. And here are my students' work. So I can pick one of those. I can also click on this Share icon here. It allows you to share it to all kinds of social media. You can also share it via a link or you can copy the code and embed their thing link right into their Google site. The last thing I want to show you is how to manage your students in ThingLink. So I'm going to click on my students tab and I'm going to click on manage group. And you can see here are some of my students that I added via email and how you would do that is click right here, type in their email and click invite and it'll send them an invitation via email. Um, I did have trouble with that with some of my students for whatever reason. So an alternate way that you can register students is to click on this register students button. Then all you're going to do is type in first names or um, first names, last names. And you want to make sure um, that you put each of them on a separate line. Okay, then I'm going to click Register Students, and it's going to generate um, this list right here. So it has their login information and password. It's a little bit clunky, um, and you cannot regenerate this anywhere. So you want to go ahead and print this page if you have a lot of students, or copy it and paste it into your drive, whatever. Um, and then when you have students um, go into thinglink.com, this will be their login email and this will be their login password and then they can go ahead and change it once they log in. This concludes my presentation on ThingLink in Education. I hope you found it helpful and take the plunge and give it a try.